Hi everyone, my name is Pratima Pandey and I attended an eco event named Peddling for the Planet and Beach Cleanup at the Vetukar Beach, Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. The twin event marked two important eco days the International Coastal Cleanup Day and Zero Emissions Day. This twin event was under the banner of UN Tide Turner's Plastic Challenge. The first event was the cycle ride. After the welcome address to cyclists by Mr. Ranjan Matthew Varghese, State Director WWF India, and after placards displaying eco messages were fixed on the cycles, the cycle ride was flagged off at Kaudiar Park at 6 am. The 24 cyclists comprising men, women and children covered the 10 km stretch up to the Vettigar beach in an hour. Next was the beach cleanup. 20 more volunteers joined the cyclists to cover a designated stretch for the cleanup. They were armed with reusable sacks and gloves. The marine litter was collected in 10 separate categories. Mr. Shivakumar gave us the category names, some of which being plastic cover and bottles, thermocol, sanitary waste, tetra packs, nylon nets, and then organic waste. Organic waste also is being collected. So this is the collection of beach cleanup today. So and the volunteers of course have done a great job. So what is there in the bag? It's like a plastic. It's a plastic, yeah. yeah. And in this nylon. Nylon. Nylon, okay. It's aluminium foil it's and paper. Aluminium foil and paper. Okay. It's also plastic. Plastic, yeah, plastic. Make the beach look and dirty. This is a two bag which we got maximum plastic. Plastic, no? Yeah, plastic is definitely plastic. is the main thing. Yeah, this is organic. Organic waste. Yeah. Yeah. Post the litter collection, I got to talk so to the volunteers. I'm uh, very much concerned about the city. But, you know, You're a native? I'm a native of uh, Kerala. Yes. I would like a very clean city. I like yes. Yes, yes. So one of the biggest challenges we face is of course a uh, very lackadaisical attitude towards trash. Okay. A lot of the trash can be avoided if people would simply just, you know, after having your lay snacks, crumple the snacks, take it with you, take it to your car, take it to your scooter or bike, take it with you. Yes. Uh, my name is Dr. Ganga, Assistant Provost in State for College of Malikara. But uh, um, for the environmental activities, I am working with many organizations. So, so, okay, have you participated in such a drive before? Yes, we have. So today's beach cleanup was, uh, we are really kind of aware that it is an end of branch solution, but it was mostly associated also with uh, studying the litter, the nature of litter along the coast. Uh, the uh, original intent uh, of uh, the coastal cleanup uh, campaign is to actually from a unit uh, stretch of the beach uh, collect the uh, litter or the waste in a very comprehensive manner and then you will have to do the analysis you have to segregate it you have to count or weigh it and then uh, there's a data sheet which is available on the international coastal cleanup day portal uh, you have to uh, share that uh, information King, where will this waste go now the, the, the major responsibility on waste management is rest with the Tirundara Municipal Corporation. So, they, so we have contacted the junior health inspector there. Uh, so we will go to their office, discuss with them and transport the waste to their uh, resource recovery unit. Mr. Ranjan Matthew summed up the event for us. So, Zero Emission Day is one uh, uh, very relevant initiative that we can all do as not just as a government or as an uh, institution but even individuals can contribute and there is no better way than cycling. Uh, WWF India Kerala State Office has a long uh, uh, relationship with the uh, Intercycling Embassy. WWF India, Intercycling Embassy and uh, Green Army uh, came together today uh, to observe this event. So as we speak now, September 18 to 23rd in Korea, the International Conference on Marine Debris is happening. So it's an alarming figure that they are putting out. They say that by 2030, more than the fishes in the ocean, there will be plastic. Because the waste that we generate on land, ultimately through water bodies or through storms or through floods and all those kind of things, reaches the ocean. So that was very evident in the waste collection drive that we did today itself. The wildest imaginable waste was also seen on the beach. We expected like around 30-35 people but we had a bonus of around 10 plus. So it is a 
grand success thanks to intercycling embassy and the green army also and for all the other interested uh, individuals and people who came together for this initiative in including you ma'am i met some wonderful people at the event and i'm so happy that i could bring this coverage to you don't forget to press the like and subscribe button see you in the next video till then go green to get green bye and take care